For decades, Voyager 2 has traveled farther than any other human creation before it a tiny machine launched in 1977 that was never meant to live this long. It should, by now, be mute, frozen, and dead in the blackness of interstellar space. And yet, against all odds, it continues to send back faint whispers from beyond the edge of our solar system fragments of data so weak they could easily be lost in the noise. For a long time, those transmissions were routine plasma readings, particle densities, the periodic eruption of cosmic background radiation, nothing extraordinary. Until recently. In September 2025, something transmitted by Voyager to change to everything. Hidden within the static was a rhythmic pulse that scientists immediately recognized signals exactly like those being observed from 3i, Atlas, the mysterious interstellar object currently blazing toward the sun. The next stage was even more disturbing, a sudden clampdown from NASA. Reports were redacted, images withheld, and whispers emerged from insiders claiming the truth about Voyager's discovery was being concealed. If Voyager had warned us about Atlas, the question was not only what it discovered, but also why those in power do not want us to know. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss more deep explorations into mysteries like this. The first anomaly seemed harmless enough. Voyager 2's plasma wave instrument designed to detect fluctuations in the interstellar medium registered something unusual. Normally, these signals appear to be a bit of static, natural turbulence in the sea of charged particles surrounding the solar system. But this time, analysts noticed a repeating structure arise, a fall, a pause then the same pattern again. At first, they thought it was interference, perhaps even a malfunction of an aging probe more than 19 billion kilometers away from Earth. However, the specifics made their blood run cold. The interval took exactly 173 minutes between pulses the same rhythm astronomers had already linked to the strange heartbeat glow of 3i, Atlas. To separate instruments, one a billion kilometers from Earth and the other perched at the edge of the solar system were recording the same cosmic beat. Coincidence was mathematically impossible. The implication was frightening. Whatever was pulsing in Atlas's emerald glow was reverberating across the solar system, and Voyager to had become an unwilling listener, entangled in a signal that should not have been there. It was not a natural hum of plasma. It was structured, deliberate, and persistent. As engineers combed through Voyager's fragile stream of data, they found more than just a repeating pulse. Within the static, hidden in faint modulations of frequency, were sequences bursts of radiation that did not fit the random noise of chaos in space. They were ordered, repeating, structured in a way that looked eerily like a form of encoding. The team initially thought it might be a digital artifact the result of errors in transmission across billions of kilometers. But deeper analysis revealed ratios, symmetries, and repeating cycles analogous to mathematical constants. This was not a malfunction. It was information. Stranger still, the intensity of these bursts appeared to rise and fall in lockstep with Atlas's behavior. Whenever the object flared in brightness, Voyager's instruments picked up more intense patterns, as though the probe itself were echoing Atlas's activity. This seemed to imply, to some, that Voyager was acting as a receiver or worse, as a relay finding itself in the middle of a conversation humanity was never meant to hear. Was three-eyed Atlas broadcasting? Was Voyager snooping on a message not intended for us? Or had Voyager's instruments been used by something reaching out to deliver a warning? When the initial information trickled back to mission control, there was confusion then silence followed by urgency. Normally, anomalies from Voyager would be lauded, the type of discovery that makes headlines across the world. But this time there was no press release, no briefing, no excitement. Instead, insiders described meetings behind closed doors, data files suddenly marked as complete, and limited communication threads disappearing from internal servers. What little information was shared with the public took the form of equivocal statements about instrumental noise and routine interference. But the community of amateurs always watching noticed the discrepancy.
Independent scientists who tracked the narrow band signal from Voyager reported gaps, periods where the probe appeared to transmit data that never arrived on the planet. Some whispered that the data was being intercepted, filtered before the general public saw it. The narrative was clear, something had been detected, something linked to Atlas, and the decision had been made not to share it. And that silence was more persuasive than any information. If Voyager had simply glitched, NASA would have said so, but instead, the silence suggested they were hiding something too disruptive to reveal. Behind the scenes, however, snippets of the narrative kept on leaking. Scientists close to the data suggested that Voyager had not only picked up the 173-minute pulse, but also changes and alterations in the pattern that appeared to be signs of escalation. One insider described it as a countdown, an intensity-building sequence before abruptly falling back into its regular rhythm. Another person claimed the probe had detected harmonics, psi frequencies that were in tune with the Earth's own orbital resonance. In other words, whatever Atlas was broadcasting was tuned, either intentionally or unintentionally, to frequencies that interact with our planet. That was when whispers of a warning began to spread. Not just a message, not a signal, one that may not have been directed at us, but that Voyager, by chance, had intercepted. Was it a danger to the Sun? A danger to Earth? Or was there something else? Abstract. A beacon meant for an intelligence older and greater than ourselves. We may never know, because the people who do know are not telling. NASA opted for silence, and silence, in this case, is the most terrifying answer of all. Shortly after the anomaly was detected, deep space tracking stations in Australia and Spain reported something they had never seen before, a duplicate of the Voyager echo transmission, arriving from a different angle than expected. Normally, Voyager's signal is faint, predictable, and comes from a specific point in space. But this echo seemed to bypass Earth completely, as if the message from the probe had been copied and sent somewhere else before it reached us. Analysts described it as a shadow transmission, a secondary signal piggybacking on Voyager's original but aimed at a point far beyond Earth's orbit. That meant either Voyager itself had been manipulated to send duplicate data, or some unknown mechanism was intercepting and relaying its signal. If true, then not only was AI Atlas broadcasting into the void, it was using our probe to forward its message to a destination no one could identify. The chilling inference was that humanity was not the intended audience. We were only eavesdropping on a conversation meant for something else, or someone else. While Voyager's faint signal was scrutinized in secrecy, Earth itself began to encounter unidentified disturbances. Global magnetometers, sensitive instruments that measure the planet's magnetic field, detected rhythmic oscillations that were identical to the 173-minute pulse Voyager had picked up. These fluctuations disrupted GPS satellites. Unexpected auroras appeared as far south as the Mediterranean, and electrical surges rippled through power grids without explanation. Pilots reported compass failures. Mariners at sea complained of navigation errors. Wildlife also appeared to be affected. Whales beached in unusual numbers. Migratory birds veered off course. Nocturnal animals became agitated in regions where the night sky glowed faintly green. It was as though the Earth itself was vibrating in resonance with the signal from AI Atlas, and the timing made the connection impossible to ignore. If the warning from Voyager was real, if there was a cosmic anomaly, why was our planet reacting as though it were part of the transmission itself?